Space Invaders, the classic game that everyone loves. Well, I'm going to remake it. Maybe after seeing my version, people will stop liking Space Invaders at all. First step to making Space Invaders is the player. I created a new kinematic body 2D node in Godot, added a sprite which started as the Godot icon, and an area with a collision box. I then moved on to doing the exact same thing for the alien. Next, I needed to make destructible blocks. I made a static body 2D with a white square and a collision box, and well, that's basically it for the block. Finally, I needed to make the bullet, which was almost the same process as the player in Alien. The game is done now, right? Wrong. I haven't actually written a single line of code yet. I first decided to make the player, and I made inputs and got them to work well, though it took some time because I kept on just making typos and stupid mistakes like that. I then built the enemies, which are even simpler than the player since they just need to generate a random number each frame to choose whether or not to make a bullet appear. I then made the bullets and the blocks, which were both pretty simple. I tested the game, but it didn't go smoothly at all. So the the game did have a lot of problems, like a lot of problems. The blocks didn't disappear when shot, and the bullets didn't disappear when they shot something. Occasionally though the blocks would work, and the bullets wouldn't then, sometimes the blocks wouldn't work and the bullets would. Then the enemies and player wouldn't die, and the game lagged a lot, and then when the enemies did die, they would keep on shooting after they were dead. After fixing the lag, I got to work on the other problems. I tried dozens of solutions, and none of them worked. I spent over an hour of bug fixing without making any progress. I removed blocks, slowed bullets, made hitboxes massive, still nothing was fixed. And then I realized the problem. I had been using a name check to determine whether an object was a bullet. But when more bullets are created, a number gets added to the end of their name. So I was checking for the name bullet in the hitboxes of the enemies, blocks, and player, but any bullet fired after the first one would be bullet 2 or bullet 3, sometimes even bullet 1000. So I went into the bullet code. For player fire ones, I want to add a player function, and for enemy fire ones, I wanted to add an enemy function. The functions were empty, but instead of checking my name, I could now check whether an object was a bullet by checking if it had one of these functions. Long story short, it worked after some tweaking. I fixed up the game, made some quick pixel art in under a minute, and the game was done. You can see the gameplay on screen now. There are still many bugs, and the enemies don't move yet, but I was running out of time, so I closed Godot and got into making this video. I'm going to remake more classic games like Pac-Man, Pong, and Super Mario Bros. in the future, but I don't think I'll ever come back to this one, and I'm not going to torture you by letting you download it. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.